You are watching Kings. Every Saturday, we tell the story of how big brands conquered the world. How Mercedes-Benz became the king of luxury sedans. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Hello, Aluxers. It's great to have you here with us today as we're breaking down how Mercedes-Benz claimed their space in the luxury car industry. In this video, we'll be looking at how the company came to be, the strategy they used, the struggles they had to overcome, and if you watch until the end, you'll learn what the future holds for this innovative luxury car brand. Mercedes-Benz, the big picture. The best or nothing. Sounds like the perfect slogan for a luxury car that's been pushing the envelope from the beginning. We're of course talking about none other than Mercedes-Benz, a company known for having a drive for success. Headquartered in Stuttgart, Germany, Mercedes-Benz is a subsidiary of Daimler AG with 143,000 employees. They are currently ranked as the 13th most valuable brand in the world by Forbes, with a value of approximately $34.4 billion, generating over $116 billion in revenue. As of March 2019, Mercedes-Benz had 21 million fans on Facebook, 19 million followers on Instagram, and 1.9 million followers on Twitter. But how did Mercedes-Benz get its name and become so known for being success-driven? Let's take a look at how it all began. The Beginning From poverty comes the story of success. We start with Mr. Carl Benz, born in Germany in the mid-1800s, to Josephine Vailland and Johann George Benz, a locomotive driver. Through living in near poverty, he excelled, studying in the field of mechanical engineering and graduated at the age of 19 years old. Carl Benz's first business endeavor, an iron and mechanical workshop, did not fare well and his fiancée at the time, Bertha Ringer, used her own finances to save the company. Benz focused his efforts on making his first two-stroke petrol engine and was granted a patent for it in 1879. It wasn't long after he soon designed and patented the spark plug, the carburetor, the clutch, the gear shift, and the water radiator. His success allowed him the time to develop and produce the first automobile designed to create its own power. Upon completion, he named it the Benz Patent Motor Wagon. In the story of Mercedes-Benz, we learn of two more inventors along the same path, Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Maybach. Born 12 years apart in Germany, both shared a vision to pioneer light, high-speed combustion engines fit for use on land, in the air, or at sea, and the pair worked together under the Daimler Motor Corporation to see that vision through. Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Maybach manufactured 36 sports cars that were ordered by Emil Jelinek, an Austrian diplomat, and he wanted them to be named after his 11-year-old daughter, Mercedes. As the popularity of the name grew from its success at the races, the name Mercedes was officially registered and trademarked globally under the Daimler Motors Corporation at the beginning of the 1900s. In the 20s, Carl Benz and Gottlieb Daimler merged businesses, forming the Daimler Benz Company and the first Mercedes-Benz brand car was born that same year. The Struggle Carl Benz endured years of struggle from having to deal with banking restrictions to unreliable business partners, to the extent where Carl's wife, Bertha, used her own dowry to buy out his former partner's shares in the company. Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Maybach, despite some successes, experienced the trials of having to deal with the demands of shareholders, causing them to both resign from the organization for a few years. Both the Daimler Motor Corporation and Benz Patent Motor Wagon were affected by the German financial crisis during the First World War. Then, heading into the Second World War, most of their civilian developments stopped completely in the 40s, as they now had to produce armaments for the war. After World War II, all of their overseas assets were seized and sold to compensate for post-war reparations. The Daimler-Benz factory became a repair center for Allied military vehicles. It took them over two years to get permission to begin production of automobiles and restoring the factory to proper working conditions. What's more is it wasn't completed for another six years after the war. 
Despite having to start over with severe financial difficulties, Daimler-Benz once again began making profits at the end of the 40s. The Defining Moment Though they had to endure two world wars, both Daimler and Benz had already known their inventions were revolutionary. Unknown to them at the time, both men had produced their own automobiles. Daimler's grandfather clock engine fitted into a stagecoach was the first four-wheeled vehicle. He later found applications for his engines in different types of vehicles, from motorboats to the first airship called Daimler's Balloon. Carl Benz's motor wagon, unknown to him, was taken by his wife Bertha and their two sons on a long-distance trip to prove it was capable of being used for travel, making it such a difference. Strategy During the 1950s, because Daimler-Benz was now recuperating from the effects of the war, they relied heavily on independent sales distributors to sell their products. However, that structure was very inefficient, so they began to expand their sales network. They spread throughout Europe first, and within five years, they had 178 general distributors worldwide. This helped them to reclaim the presence they had in the U.S. previously and brought with it the opportunity to open factories internationally. Daimler-Benz was able to lower their cost of production by opening facilities overseas, and due to governments requiring they use local resources in exchange for import licenses, they were able to open facilities in Brazil, Argentina, and India to name a few. During this time in the 1950s, Daimler-Benz was successful in opening their flagship location in North America. They partnered with Max Hoffmann, an Austrian luxury car importer that was based in New York, and it was through his relationships with dealers in the U.S. that Mercedes-Benz 300SL Gullwing was distributed. The 300SL quickly became the most produced vehicle sold to customers in the U.S., grabbing up over 80% of their sales. Its growing presence in North America allowed Daimler-Benz to explore other avenues as well. The company was no stranger to the race car circuit, so they began putting together teams and cars to enter the top races of that time, from the Grand Prix to the Carrera Pan America in Mexico. They gained the respect and reputation of being one of the most technologically advanced luxury vehicles out there. The Value in the beginning, we mentioned the Mercedes-Benz slogan, the best or nothing. To highlight such, we could speak about Mercedes-Benz's use of the finest materials, or how the engine is made, however it would be no different from any other luxury sedan. At Mercedes-Benz, they believe that to deliver the best or nothing means that safety comes first. Mercedes-Benz has been pioneering safety innovations as features in their standard vehicles. Their goal is to make accidents less severe or keep them from even happening altogether. From the further development of the crumple zone to occupant protection and accident avoidance, Mercedes-Benz engineers seek to keep raising the standard in vehicular safety. Some of their innovations include pre-safe, where the car prepares you when it senses an accident is imminent, attention assist, an early warning system for driver drowsiness, and their adaptive breakthrough technology that adjusts to the road, making it easier for you to stop and stand still. All mentioned has been a growing part of Daimler-Benz's technological advancements throughout. Since the early 90s, they've been making their luxury sedans safer for drivers. They began producing and implementing CFC-free climate-controlled vehicles before any other car brand, recognizing it wasn't safe for the driver or the environment. They also found a way to install communication systems called Control Area Network, created by Bosch, that would allow all systems in the cars to link together so they can operate more efficiently. And before any car is shipped to the customer, it undergoes a final 2,000-point check inspection to ensure everything works perfectly. Controversy Within the last three years, there have been allegations that Mercedes-Benz, specifically their U.S. cars, contain devices with software to detect when the car was being tested for its emission levels. These devices would adjust the engine to emit less during the test than they would under real-life conditions. The U.S. authorities investigating Mercedes have reported that the illegal software to help them pass the emissions test was indeed found. 
However, Daimler remains adamant they did no wrongdoing, even though emails were discovered from engineers asking whether those functions were legal. Daimler's response has been that any reports given were selectively given to harm the company and their employees. Did you know there was even such a test being done? There's a lot you should know, and if you're interested, check out our video, 15 Things You Didn't Know About the Automobile Industry. The Results Early on, Daimler and Benz experienced what could happen when they aligned themselves with the wrong people. Since the merger and formation of Daimler-Benz, they associated themselves with the right people and placed the company in position to be a leader. Coming from grandfather clock engines to making tanks for the war to being innovators in safety and luxury, Daimler-Benz had to ensure every move placed them a step ahead of their competition. Mercedes-Benz focuses its sponsorship and spending on events that attract their demographic of customers. Their three main focuses have been golf, tennis, and New York's Fashion Week. Their Mercedes F1 team has also dominated the track with championships behind drivers such as Lewis Hamilton, who's been affiliated with Mercedes-Benz since he was 13 years old, and is their current driver for their Formula One team over the past six years and five-time Formula One world champion. From the words of Gottlieb Daimler, it's not the idea, it's the implementation that counts. Mercedes-Benz has been a testament to not just planning, but also taking action to release your greatest potential. The Future In this age of technology and looking toward the future, many luxury car manufacturers have been exploring ways to not depend on fuel or the development of self-driving cars. However, Mercedes-Benz has been exploring and developing such technology since the 80s, when they built the world's first robotic car. Fast forward to today, and Mercedes-Benz has been developing their self-steering long-haul truck. Though there would be a driver in the vehicle, the truck would be driven by an automated system called Active Drive Assist. Daimler-Benz has also recently partnered with BMW to collaborate on the further development of self-driving car technology, with a focus on mobility services such as car sharing and ride hailing. Also, earlier this year, it's been reported that Mercedes-Benz and Tesla may collaborate on an electric version of Mercedes-Benz's Sprinter van. The conversation is still ongoing. From a marketing standpoint, Mercedes-Benz is one of the most recognized luxury cars in the industry. Closing Daimler-Benz has definitely seen many changes over the years. The company changed its name to Daimler AG back in 2007. They persevered and endured through many tribulations and raised the occasion to hold a long history of innovation. Mercedes-Benz proved itself to be the king of luxury sedans. Now before you go, Alexers, we're curious. Which Mercedes-Benz model would you add to your luxury car collection if you could? Drop your answer in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us until the end, you get a bonus. Here it is. The letters assigned to Mercedes-Benz models have a meaning. For example, a C means the car either has a coupe body or a cabriolet body. The G once referred to an off-road vehicle but has since been changed to the SUV models. These letters also refer to the engine used in the car. D indicates the presence of a diesel engine, while E indicates either an electric engine or a hybrid engine. And of course, the K for an engine with a supercharger. But we're sure you Aluxers know the K is for compressor. Sir. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos for you to watch next. As always, the conversation continues on social media. Thanks again, and we can't wait to have you back tomorrow.